Hi there, my name is Katie and I'm with RV Share today. Today we're gonna to take you through some of our top tips on how to boost your rental income, all while providing a really wonderful experience for your renters. Whether you are a seasoned owner or you are just starting out, providing a really wonderful experience to your renters is part of that strategy. So from optimizing your rental listing pricing strategy to creating these really unique add-on experiences for your renters, we've got you covered. So let's dive in. Let's start with the basics and probably the most important thing on this list, and that is keeping good performance metrics. Now, keeping good performance metrics is going to be crucial in your success here at RV Share because what that does, it actually impacts where you rank in the listing page when renters are searching for RVs in your area. When an owner has good performance metrics, it is indicating to us that that owner is able to provide a great and consistent experience to all renters that work with them. We want to have a healthy marketplace for both renters and owners and with performance metrics, what that does is help facilitate that healthy marketplace because we're gonna be able to get you the best fitting renters for your rig. So make sure that your RV is in good working condition, it is clean and as advertised and make sure that you respond promptly to inquiries and requests that come your way. And lastly, do not cancel at all costs. That really does hurt your performance metrics overall. So if you really wanna deep dive into performance metrics, make sure that you watch this video here. And if you, for some reason, are really struggling with getting these performance metrics up, make sure that you talk to your rental coach in the description below. I've added a link on how you can find and contact your rental coach. These are folks that work here at RV Share. They know the business, they know your area, and they know RVing super well. So make sure that you call them and uh, they will definitely help you out. Tip number two, let's talk about pricing. Now, a lot of owners will come to RV Share, create this really nice listing, set their pricing once and never come back and adjust it. And that is really not how the hospitality industry works. If you look at hotels or vacation rentals, you will see that prices fluctuate based off of, you know, weekends, peak seasons, special events, all in the name of maximizing profitability of your business. And that's really just a fancy way of saying supply and demand. Now you might not know how to price yourself correctly, but lucky for you, we do. We have a ton of booking data available at our fingertips. So we have this feature called recommended pricing and it is right in your owner dashboard. Now how recommended pricing works is that we create a pricing model based off of 12 months rolling data and takes into account your area, the type of RV that you have, make and model, and year. And all of that together will give you a recommended pricing on how to do it. So once you toggle that on, you will automatically have an adjusting rate based off of those peak seasons, all figured out by that previous 12 months. So this is gonna make sure that you are consistently priced competitively while not overpricing yourself out of the market. So it's really a win-win. If you toggle it on, you will automatically be enrolled to this and it will adjust accordingly based off of that booking data. If you are not totally ready to commit to it full time, that's totally fine. You can use it as a guideline and still adjust your prices manually. So you can also turn it on and off as needed. So for instance, if you know in your area there's a special event going on or a festival, you can go in, turn it off, set your pricing according to what you think is appropriate for that event. And then after the event, just make sure that you go in and return it on or adjust your pricing back down. What you don't wanna do is price yourself out of the market by keeping those rates too high during a normal season. So you just wanna make sure that you account for that after the fact. Okay, tip number three, enhance the entire value of your booking. So if you want to enhance the value of your entire booking, consider offering add-on experiences. Now I'm gonna be using the word experience pretty loosely here, but it's essentially anything that you think might make your renter's experience better or easier. Some common add-ons that we see are delivery, pets, generator usage, and sometimes even dumping fees. We have some owners who offer also special equipment like bikes or kayaks or even firewood just to make the experience for their renter really fun on the way and make it easier for them. By upselling these add-ons, you're gonna increase the total value of your booking, therefore increasing your total income off of that booking, all while providing that really great experience for your renters. Keep in mind, you should avoid charging for things that are kind of considered standard for a housing rental. These are gonna be things like basic kitchenware, linens, and towels. Up next, tip number four, consider expanding where your RV goes. RV share owners who allow their RVs to go to special events like music festivals make 150% more per booking compared to a traditional camping booking. 
It's crazy, I know. You heard that right, 150%. It's massive. While it may require a little extra education for your renters and preparation for your vehicle, it is definitely worth the effort. If you're worried about potential damages, that's totally fine. We understand it. It's a different type of RVing experience, but what we would recommend is that you ask your renters to get the security deposit waiver and the internal damage protection. That way, both parties are going to be covered in case anything does go wrong. So why limit your rental opportunities when there are so many options out there? There are hundreds of camping festivals across the U.S. every single year. And on top of that, there's football season, there's tailgating. There's a lot of different things that you can be using your RV for. Last but not least, don't forget to market your listing. Now, RVShare actually provides some marketing materials for you in addition to actually us posting and promoting your RVs on your behalf in order to drive traffic to your listings. But there's always room for more promotion. So in the description, I have linked some more marketing materials that you're welcome to use. Please feel free to download and those are gonna be stickers and decals that you can print out, put them onto your vehicle. And so when people are out and about, they can scan your RV and get to your listing to explore a little bit more. We also recommend you taking advantage of social media by posting your listing onto your channels and you're sharing it with your own community, but there are also other communities that are online um, for people who are looking for budget and family-friendly vacations and RVing is a great opportunity for those people as well. And as you get more renters for your RV, make sure you underline to them how important word of mouth marketing is for you and your business. The more exposure your listing gets, the more bookings you'll receive. And there you have it. Those are our top tips on how to make more money on your RV rental listing. By following these tips, you're gonna be on your way to maximizing your potential earnings and providing a great customer experience. And now remember, this doesn't happen overnight. Being in the RV rental business is about learning and growing and adapting to this ever-changing market. If you like this video or you feel like you learned something or found it interesting, make sure to hit that like button below and subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks. All right, have a good one. Happy renting.